In our changing environment, you can depend on us to deliver stories, big or small, with integrity and accuracy. Our job is to report news that matters to you. We're here to ask the tough questions and discover those who make a difference in our community. My name is Sarah Madison. Although the weather isn't perfect, this summer's wellness series kicks off with Zumba on the Half Shell. The Douglas County Assessor's Office called police saying there was a suspicious package outside right behind this tree. This was one of the parking meters that was broken into and the scratches here indicate that it was pried open. Graffiti weekend was popular then and it still is today with more than 2,000 classic cars participating this year. Selling e-cigs or any inhalant delivery systems to minors is illegal. Indoor vaping will be illegal this January. I spoke with Dwes Hudson at the Sheriff's Office and he told me when deputies went to the scene, they found a woman with serious injuries. They say her husband was the one who assaulted her. Lined with yellow tape, this is the house where they found both the victim and the suspect. Officials are not releasing how 46-year-old Donnell Sharp was injured. They also won't say who made the 911 call, but deputies immediately arrested 43-year-old Johnny Sharp. He was transported to Mercy Hospital uh, where he was treated uh, for some injuries and then released. He's uh, going to be lodged in our jail here on attempted murder charges. The victim was flown to Sacred Heart in Springfield in critical condition. The investigation is still ongoing. Reporting in Roseburg, I'm Sarah Madison. On International Drone Day over the weekend, hobbyists brought out their gadgets. Attach a camera, then put on a pair of high-tech goggles. You can now see what a drone sees. I personally like it because, you know, it's, it's a lot more affordable than flying a commercial aviation aircraft. I just like to fly it like with remote control. But it's also the reason why these devices often raise safety and security concerns. They aren't just the predator drones you see in the news and things like that overseas that are spying on people and blowing things up. That's, that's just a small segment of what drones really are. Drone users are pushing for the technology to be used in commercial, research and and educational applications. Anything can be used for the wrong purpose and if you have the wrong people flying it they're going to use it for the wrong for the wrong reasons but there are many good reasons why we should have it. Froslin says the technology and popularity of drones are taking off so the FAA needs to develop new regulations quickly. This is the first time a drone enthusiast has gathered together in Roseburg for International Drone Day. They hope to raise awareness again next year. Reporting in Roseburg, I'm Sarah Madison. Our Sarah Madison is live tonight in Canyonville with the latest news on the fire. Sarah? The fire has burned 6,000 acres and it's nowhere near being contained at this point. If you can see around me, the haze has lifted, but it's still very hot. It's 105 in Canyonville, and that's not good news for firefighters out in the field. We talked to fire officials from Oregon Department of Forestry and the Office of the State Fire Marshal, and we asked them what their plan of attack is today. Red Cross still has their shelter in operation, and that's at the YMCA in Canyonville. There's also a meeting at Azalea, at the Azalea Community Church. It's tonight at 6.30. There's going to be another one at the Milo Fire Station, same time tomorrow at 6.30. We don't know how long these firefighters will be camped here, but hopefully for them, they'll get cooler weather in the next couple of days. Reporting in Days Creek, I'm Sarah Madison. Back to you at the desk. News Source 16, Sarah Madison has more. Yes, that's right. The U.S. Gold Cup was held on Father's Day this year, and the track looked like it was never vandalized. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. It is five minutes to the hour. I'm Sarah Madison with your KPIC local news update. The man wanted in connection with a Springfield homicide is now behind bars. 30-year-old Kyle Pfaff was caught outside of Sutherland. While well, investigators have arrested a Roseburg man on arson charges after firefighters responded to a grass fire Sunday morning. That's our local update for now. Please join us tonight at 5 and 6 for a look at today's local news. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great day.